Assalamu alaikum dear viewers, Shoaib Madhav is here with the new lecture of the power factor series and today we are going to discuss the power factor improvement methods and the technique that what type of the technique that we can improve the power factor in our power systems. So the power factor is the essential uh, uh, topic in our electrical power systems. So that uh, uh, power factor is can be defined as the angle between the voltage and current which is the cosine phi or it is the ratio of the active power or apparent power Kw over Kva is called the power factor and it is the ratio of the resistance over impedance is the called the power factor. Now today we are going to discuss the power factor improvement uh, through uh, static capacitor, through capacitor we are going to improve the power factor. So, the capacitor is a device which is used to store the electric charge and the energy uh, in our electrical engineering. So, they are the energy storage elements, energy storage devices. So, when they these capacitors are connected in parallel across the inductive loads, so they can improve the power factor. So, let us start the improvement power factor improvement. So, the low power factor is mainly due to the most of the power loads are the inductive in nature. So, therefore, the power factor is lagging because they are taking the lagging currents. So, most of the loads in our power systems already I have discussed in the previous lectures that most of the loads are inductive in nature. So, induction motors and arc furnaces are the inductive loads or they are taking the lagging reactive power and they are taking the lagging react, uh, uh, lagging, taking the lagging reactive power and uh, in, uh, current from the main supply. So, the power factor of that particular inductive loads is will be low. So, in order to improve such power factor, so where some device which taking the leading power, uh, leading reactive power should be connected in parallel with the load. So, as you can see the diagram, so this is the inductive load, RL load and uh, which draws the lagging current from the supply. This for example, this is the diagram which shows the uh, our inductive load which draws the lagging current from the main AC power supply and second diagram shows the capacitor, static capacitor is connected in parallel across this inductive loads. So, this for, for, for the demonstration purpose. We, uh, we are only taking the single phase over here in a three phase balance system. So, only uh, uh, for the analysis point of view we are taking the single phase for the uh, our understanding purpose. So, here this uh, our capacitor is connected in parallel across this RL load. Okay. So, this capacitor is taking the leading current from the main supply and partly or completely neutralizes or compensate the reactive power, uh, lagging reactive uh, component of the load current and this uh, raises the power factor of this particular inductive load. This raises the power factor of the inductive load. Now, consider a single phase load taking the lagging current I at a power factor of the cosine phi as shown in figure. Now, as you can see from this diagram, this is the single phase inductive load and capacitor we are going to connect in parallel across this inductive load. Now, in the lagging power factor, in the lagging uh, inductive load, in the inductive load, the voltage lead the current, okay. the voltage lead the current or current is leg behind the voltage. Now, here in the phasor diagram, if we are going to draw the, this, this phasor diagram of this inductive load, so this V is uh, leading this current I at the angle of the phi 1, at the angle of the phi 1 means at the angle of the phi 1 this uh, current is lag behind this voltage or voltage leads this current. So, the capacitor C is connected in parallel across this load now see this capacitor C is connected in parallel across this load. So, this capacitor draws the IC current which leads the supply voltage by 90 degree. So, if uh, when we are going to connect this capacitor in parallel across this load. So, what happened? This IC current is uh, leads this voltage okay, at the angle of the 90 degree. So, this one, this is the capacitor current. 
this is the capacitor current that leads this voltage okay now the resulting line current i is the phasor sum uh, uh, i dash is the phasor sum of this i and the ic with the angle of the leg behind by the phi 2 so whenever we are going to connect this capacitor in parallel across this inductive load so this i dash current this i dash current is the phasor sum is the phasor sum of this i plus i c so this one is the capacitor uh, this one is the your uh, current okay which is the resulting line current which is to be improved by this capacitor current because you can see the angle between this voltage and that line current uh, before the connecting capacitor in parallel that was greater now when the angle between voltage and current is greater so the lagging reactive power is greater and obviously the power factor is reduced because as you can see the line current i is equal to p over v under root 3 cosine of phi so here this line current is inversely proportional with the power factor is inversely proportional to the power factor so here if the uh, angle between this voltage this uh, resulting line current before connecting this cap capacitor in parallel so that was a uh, leg behind this current leg behind the voltage at the angle of the phi 1 and hence here the power factor is the cosine phi 1 and that power factor cosine phi 1 is less than uh, this power factor cosine phi 1 is less than this improved power factor which is the cosine phi 2 and this cosine phi 2 power factor or this angle phi 2 is to be uh, uh, that uh, that resulting angle that can be obtained by connecting capacitor in parallel across this inductive load so that it can takes the leading kver okay leading current from the main supply but, uh, and which neutralize or partly uh, neutralize or completely neutralize the lagging kvr lagging uh, reactive component from the main supply and hence the power factor of the system of this particular inductive load will be improved as you can see this i dash is also lag behind this voltage at the angle of the phi 2 at the angle of the phi 2 so now i dash and this v has the lesser angle between the voltage and current in comparison to that of this i lagging uh, our current uh, before connecting capacitor in parallel so this uh, angle that was greater and here i dash angle uh, with the voltage is lesser in comparison to this to this i so already i have uh, write all these things on this uh, diagram on this sorry board so resulting line current i is the phasor sum of i and i, c, I dash so I, I c capacitor current so this i dash is the phasor sum of this i plus i c and its angle is the phi 2 and obviously this angle is phi 2 is the angle between this i dash and this v and this angle phi 2 is less than angle phi 1 here phi 1 greater uh, phi 1 angle is greater and phi 2 is lesser in comparison now it is clear that phi 2 angle is less than phi 1 so that cosine phi 2 is greater than cosine phi 1 so power factor what is the power factor it is the angle between this voltage and current here this current i is the current which is current which is the lagging current before connecting capacitor in parallel okay now here the angle is phi 1 so phi 1 before connecting capacitor in parallel is greater this phi 2 and here its resulting current is i dash so here so what is the power factor this angle between this voltage and current so this will be the cosine phi 1 and this will be the cosine phi 2 so clearly from this phasor diagram it is uh, it is proved that this cosine phi 1 before connecting capacitor in parallel is uh, uh, is less than now this power factor 
is less than by this improved power factor ok why because whenever the angle between this voltage and current is greater the power factor uh, is reduced so here in this uh, voltage and current the angle between this voltage and this i current is uh, high is greater so obviously power factor is uh, reduced power factor is lesser cosine phi 1 is lesser than cosine phi 2 when we are connecting this capacitor in uh, connected in parallel across this inductive load so this draw the leading uh, current from the main supply and partly or completely neutralizing the lagging reactive current uh, of the inductive load and hence the power factor of the system is raised so this i dash current will be the current which is to be uh, produced by this capacitor current so this is the resulting line current i dash and this resulting line current i dash has the uh, angle between this voltage this current i dash is lag behind this voltage v by the angle of the phi 2 here phi 2 angle is less than this phi 1 so whenever the angle between the voltage and current is lesser so the lagging reactive component of the current is the lesser and hence the power factor of the system will be improved so this was the completely uh, uh, explanation of this phasor diagram according to this static capacitor which is connected in parallel across this inductive load now what we have analyzed it is clear from this phasor diagram is that phi 2 is less than the phi 1 this uh, phi 2 angle is the power factor uh, corrected angle by connecting capacitor in parallel across the inductive load and this was the before power factor correction angle between the voltage and the current v and i which uh, which has the angle of the phi 1 and the angle between this v and i dash is the phi 2 so here phi 2 is less than the phi 1 means the cosine phi 2 improved power factor okay is greater than the cosine phi 1 or cosine phi 1 power factor is lesser than the improved power factor cosine phi 2 now some of the points that we have right over here the circuit current i after power factor correction is less than the i dash is less than the original current i so whenever the power factor is improved as you can see from this formula so whenever this cosine phi 2 here improved power factor whenever the power factor is improved the current is reduced so cosine phi when uh, the current in the cosine phi 1 is higher uh, in comparison to that of the current i dash in the cosine phi 2 okay which is the uh, now this i dash current is uh, lesser than this i because i dash current is the improved power factor current which has the less value uh, in comparison to that of the uh, before power factor uh, correction uh, current which is the i okay so i dash current after improvement of the power factor okay is less than the original current i obviously the power factor has inverse relationship between the current so if the current is power factor is greater the current will be lesser second is that active or what full component of the uh, uh, of the system remains the same before and after power factor correction because only the lagging reactive component is reduced by the capacitor so active or what full component before and after power factor correction is the same one only the lagging reactive component of the uh, reactive component is reduced by the capacitor because cap capacitor is connected in parallel across the inductive load now here i cosine of phi 1 is equal to the i dash cosine of phi 2 here i cosine of phi 1 is the power factor before correction and i dash cosine phi 2 is the power factor after correction so the lagging reactive component is reduced after the power factor improvement and hence it is equal to the difference between the lagging reactive component of the load i cosine of phi 1 and the capacitor current i c so here i dash sin phi 2 i dash sin phi 2 okay is equal to that so this is the I, de, I, I dash sin phi 2 is equal to I sin phi 1 which is the difference between the lagging reactive component of the load I sin phi 1 and the capacitor current. So now here 
आई कोसाइन ऑफ फाइव वन इज इक्वल टू आई डेस्ट कोसाइन ऑफ फाइव टू मीन दिस पावर फैक्टर इज नाउ हेयर इज द बिफोर करेक्शन एंड दिस इज द पावर फैक्टर आफ्टर करेक्शन ओके ना फाइव टू एंगल इज द आफ्टर करेक्शन आफ्टर पावर फैक्टर करेक्शन एंगल एंड दिस फाइव वन एंगल इज द फ्रॉम द अकॉर्डिंग टू द फेजर डायग्राम इज द पावर फैक्टर करेक्शन बिफोर एंगल so here by multiplying this v obviously uh, on the both sides so this will be the, the uh, this will be the vi cosine of 5 and here vi dash cosine of 5 2 okay so this is the power vector before correction and power vector is equal to after correction so i dash sin 5 2 is the i sin 5 1 minus i c so the net kvar after the power factor correction net kvar after the power factor correction is the lagging kvar before after uh, before the power factor correction minus leading kvar of the equipment means here what what are the leading kvar of the equipment that is to be supplied by the capacitor okay this is to be uh, the capacitor leading current and this is the Uh, you are before correction which is the uh, leg, taking lagging reactive power of the inductive load minus of the leading kvr of the equipment which is the capacitor current okay now the, that will be the uh, we can obtain the net kvr of net reactive power after the power factor correction okay now first power factor improvement is that our capacitor bank now power factor can be improved by the connecting capacitor in parallel with the equipment with that are op uh, that are operated in the lagging power factor consider this three phase load for example this is the three phase induction motor okay which is the inductive load and this is the in three phase induction motor so these are the two capacitor bank bags example this capacitor bank is connected in delta okay at the point of common coupling of the before uh, the inductive load uh, uh, these capacitor banks is connected in parallel and this capacitor banks uh, is the example of the star connected capacitor bank which is connected uh, before the induction motor okay at the point of common coupling of the three phase system to improve the power factor now capacitor draws the leading current now obviously whenever you are connecting this capacitor capacitor across the parallel at the point of common coupling before the inductive load so it draw uh, it, it it can easily draws the leading current and partly or completely neutralize the neutralize the lagging reactive component of the load current and hence whenever this uh, lagging reactive component of the inductive load of the induct, uh, inductive uh, our induction motor or induction arc furnace is is going to be uh, removed or it is going to be cancel one so hence the power factor of the uh, system is to be raised okay so the, this raises the power factor of the load whenever we are going to connect this capacitor banks uh, connected in parallel uh, across this inductive loads so for three phase loads the capacitors can be connected in delta or star as shown in figure so here these capacitor banks are connected in delta and these capacitor banks are connected in star according to the configuration now static capacitors are invariably used for the power factor correction of the improvement or of power factor correction or the power factor improvement of the factories obviously in the factories uh, we have a three phase induction motors and uh, we have a heavy loads so obviously these type of the such type of the capacitor banks are used for the power factor improvement of the factories and the industries static capacitor advantages okay so this they have the low losses and require the little maintenance as they have the no ro rotating parts obviously in the static capacitor there is no rotating parts and they require the less maintenance second is that they can be easily installed at they are the light and require no foundation so obviously they are lighter in weight they have no rotating parts so it's very easy to install them at the grid side or any particular factory or the industry where where that we have to improve the power factor of the consumer side now disadvantages of the static capacitor is that they have the short service life of the 8 to 10 years so their life span 
uh, is the 8 to 10 years okay and second is that they are easily damaged if the voltage is exceeds from the rated value. So if the volt over voltage condition is occur in the power system due to any abnormal condition. So that is why this these capacitor can be easily damaged if the voltage is to be exceed from the uh, prescribed value or the nominal value of which is to be given by the manufacturer. And third is that once the capacitors are damaged they are their repair is uneconomical. So if the capacitor uh, is uh, like damage, so replacement is another option. Okay, so this was the disadvantages of the power factor improvement by using the static capacitor. And uh, at the end, if I'm going to summarize this lecture, so the, in this lecture we have discussed the power factor improvement with the help of the static capacitor. So the main function of the static capacitor it draws the leading current from the main supply, and it are partly or completely neutralizes the lagging reactive component of the current from the main supply and hence the power factor of the system is improved or raised. So this was the whole lecture uh, regarding the power factor improvement of the static through the static capacitor. I hope that you have enjoyed the today's lecture. I hope that, that this lecture will be very uh, beneficial for you or informative for you. And at the end, please uh, do subscribe my YouTube channel Shoebe Madayo for more informative videos related to the electrical engineering area. Thank you.